Welcome back, everybody. You know, for months we have been working with the staff here at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer uh, Center to talk about really what goes on when you come on in, start out with your mammogram, and then what happens with medical treatment after that. You probably don't realize how many professionals, how many doctors and learned staff are will be involved in looking at your case to get you the very, very best medical care. We've got Dr. Ther Khoury, who is here. He is a breast pathologist, and we also have Dr. Helen Cappuccino with us and she is a breast surgeon so thanks for being with us this morning My pleasure. Thank you. dr. Corey you were telling me that you may not even see the patient but your expertise on a case adds uh, very much to the way that treatment will go uh, yes indeed actually we get the uh, uh, patient uh, biopsy and we read the biopsy mm -hmm. deciding what it is it's benign or malignant cancer or benign uh, uh, some other lesions like in between ADH or DCIS uh, and uh, we also perform biomarkers to decide what kind of treatment patients may have mm -hmm. or may qualify for. Uh, then we also do the staging. When the patient gets the excisional biopsy, uh, we examine the uh, specimen, uh, the main specimen and the lymph nodes. All this information will be taken by the surgeon and oncologist mm -hmm. and they decide what kind of treatment patient will get afterwards. All right, now Dr. Cappuccino, what Dr. Khoury says makes a big difference on the way you will treat a patient. Absolutely, his help and expertise is indispensable in my surgical treatment of the patients. It starts from even before the patient walks in the front door of Roswell, Dr. Khoury and his team are already looking at the slides that were done elsewhere, and in, not infrequently, they come up with different additional information mm. that is really critically important to treating the patient. It might mean the difference between a patient getting radiation or not, uh, chemo or not, the degree and intensiveness of the surgery. Uh, so what he and his team tell us is really pivotal in terms of patient's treatment. I understand too when we hear about someone having cancer, it usually has a stage one through four, but even that it can be much more complicated than just four numbers. Absolutely, and again, pathology plays a critical role in that. You can have a very aggressive stage one cancer, an aggressive cancer early on in its course, or a slower growing tumor that happens to be at stage three, and it might actually be the stage one that is more dangerous. And a lot of the questions that pathology answers helps us to determine what that is. Mm. Um, and pathology sometimes makes the difference between it being uh, benign or malignant. We've had patients come to us with a, a diagnosis of malignancy that turn out not to have a cancer. Mm -hmm. That makes huge implications just right. for their psyche, their treatment, their ability to get life insurance. It being accurate is vitally important. Dr. Correa, it must be interesting when you're expecting to see something on a slide and you don't see it or you see something entirely different. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it happens not that often, but happens often enough to be very important to mm -hmm. recognize. Uh, in fact, I, I, re I recall a few cases of few, few biopsies were diagnosed as malignant turned out to be benign mm -hmm. and vice versa. And this is very, very important uh, uh, finding for the patient uh, uh, care and outcome. What great news to get as a patient. Absolutely. Yeah. And, it, you know, the fact that they look at all different varieties of pathology and the meetings that they attend and the continuing education they do is all breast helps them to detect things that maybe the pathologist that's looking at multiple varieties of specimens might not get. Just this week we had a case of an extremely rare benign tumor that necessitated additional treatments that probably she wouldn't have gotten elsewhere. So it's, it's really important. I work with a pro like Dr. Corey. Well, I'm telling you, we have people who will be watching this saying that's uh, the person who I want uh, you know watching my case and looking at my pictures and staging my cancer so I can get the very best treatment remember get your mammogram every year and why not get it here at Roswell <laughs>